Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's, it's... Overlook T-Rose, take one. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Overlook Heroes. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people out there. Yo, my name is Hotel Moscow from 618. Facts, bro. Where are you from? From Carbondale, Dirty Dale. From the Dale? Yep. How long you been? You, you like born and raised here? Yep, born That's and raised. That's crazy. That's crazy. I never met you or anything. How long you been doing music? About about five, six years. Okay, okay. Uh, so tell me, how was it uh, growing up in Carbondale for you? Ain't nobody ever gonna claim it, but this is one of the most violent cities you're gonna find on this side of the state. So, you know, normal street shit, block shit, uh, you know, coming up from nothing. You know what I mean? Facts, facts. And when did the music start? Oh, bro, I've been around music since I was a jit. So, uh, like actually producing, recording myself, that, you know, that just came out of necessity because I knew nobody else was going to do it for me, so I had to sit there and teach myself how to do that shit. Facts. Facts. So you started young. Uh, what's kind of like, what's some of the songs that like you put out early on? What's some of them like songs that you put out that you was like comfortable putting out, people fucked with it, uh, you fucked with it? What's one of the like hottest songs you probably say you dropped in you know, coming into it? Hottest? Oh. Damn. I know it's probably heck like of a minute, huh? Yeah, bro. Uh, probably uh, slide away from me. Okay. Got a uh, video on YouTube for that. And that did pretty good on my last project. But when I was coming up, the, you know, that was the SoundCloud days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got uh, Glitter Skulls. That's the biggest one. Okay. All right, so even with the SoundCloud era, like, what's the biggest difference do you seen? from like putting music out now to how we was putting it out years ago? That the fans aren't able to support in the same way they were. So like SoundCloud days, whenever I was doing it, it was almost like a fan service. And then, you know, that's when they get your merch, get get whatever you're fucking with. Yeah. Now you have to go through the, the DSPs, you know what I'm saying? Like getting your money is a lot harder. And especially with COVID and everything like that, touring yeah. and all, all that shit, like, it's been rough. Yeah, can't put none of that shit together for sure. Yeah, um, the streamer era is, is pretty cool. You know, I feel like they kind of lowball us with you know, how much they pay us. Um, and we the reason why their services is, you know, alive. Definitely, yeah. Uh, so you got to really, like, make, you got to really get millions and millions of views and, I mean, right. listens just to make some decent money off that shit, you know? Yeah. Uh, so... It is what it is, but I feel like nowadays in 2022, we can get music to fans much easier. Oh yeah, than how that's, it was then. that's definitely true. You, know, you definitely got true. TikToks and all that shit now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? What's one of your favorite platforms you like to work off of? Right now? Ooh. Favorite. I don't know. Like, I, I guess, I guess I, I'm, I'm older than a lot of the the cats around here, so like. Uh, TikTok is a new thing that I'm learning about. Like, right. You know, exposure and everything like that on TikTok. I I'm really fucking with that right now. Yeah. I think uh, coming in, I think a lot of people, especially rappers, they really thought like TikTok was just some dancing shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So yep. a lot of people were like, man, some kid shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't fucking with no TikTok. But, you know, you can put a lot of content on TikTok. And yep. It can, yep. it can go to, you know, get viewers and views. You know, you just never know. TikTok a place where people growing up from now, if you know. Yeah. Into that type of shit, but for sure, I'll be on the TikTok too. Uh, but it's just too many social media platforms to try to keep up, man. It'd be so hard to. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's. So uh, what's one of your favorite projects you put out? Have you ever put out a project? Yeah. So I put out uh, three actual albums. The. I hate to say it, but uh, my albums ain't really my favorite stuff. My favorite stuff. To this day, like I said, I still do things the old way. I'll put out shit for free on SoundCloud just for the fans. Mm -hmm. And that's usually my favorite stuff to do is because I know that they're getting something for free that they really like, fuck you know, with it. that they fuck with. And then I feel like that gives you a more loyal fan base than just going off with the streaming services, you know what I mean? I feel that. I feel that for sure. I feel that. Yeah. Uh, so, what are you working on now? So, I got two different projects right now I'm working on. I got an EP, where a uh, video for each one, and then I got a long form album that hopefully I'm gonna have done here in the next five, six months. Okay, okay. 
Uh, one of them, uh, the EP uh, called uh, Midnight Red. And then uh, the album, I, I, don't, I don't know all that much about it. Yet. Okay. All right, for sure. And is you producing on it as well? Yeah. So I, I produce uh, absolutely everything I hop on. Okay. That's pretty dope. You know, all right. Um, and one thing else, too. Um, is there any artists around the area or anything like that you want to work with that you haven't worked with? That I haven't worked with? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got some homies from the fields that I haven't gotten a chance to link with yet. Uh, SOE Dolo, he's definitely a big name uh, I'd like to be able to do something with. Uh, I got some tracks with, like Rockstar Rachi. Um, I don't know, right now Right now, it seems like uh, a lot of the people that are going to pop off have popped off and right now we're at a, you know, we're seeing who's next, you know what I'm saying? So like. I definitely got my eye out for the new talent because I want to produce and help push up. Even even if I can't make it out of here, I'd like to push somebody up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that for sure. That's dope. Yeah. Um, one thing about Carbondale, they really ain't got a lot of outlets to like really uh, be able to showcase your music and nah. you know push it out. You know that's one of the things that just takes away from an artist. You know they tried to put a radio station together and do that. It just you know consistency is everything too as well. Yeah. And, uh, once you don't start, like, if you don't see it, you ain't gonna believe it. So, I just think a lot of the, like, it's hard for artists to really break out being in Carbondale unless you're just sitting on the internet. That, but, them. unless you can travel. Or, yeah, tra or like, travel. traveling is the biggest thing. The only reason I, I managed to do any shows at all is, be, you know, traveling. St. Louis, Chicago, uh, Indiana. Okay. Yeah, I feel that for sure. Hey, you got any shout-outs you want to give out? Let's see here. Uh, I want to shout out Rachi. I want to shout out Zeno. I want to shout out uh, my brother Prof. Uh, man, I want to. I want to say R.I.P. to my grandmother Janet. Uh, and. Uh, I, I want to tell people to stay tuned to 618 because I think there's going to be some great shit coming out of here pretty soon. Yeah, that's for sure. And let the people know where they can follow you at and search your music. Uh, at Hotel Moscow Official on IG, uh, at ho uh, Hotel Moscow 5 on uh, Twitter. I ain't be on social media a crazy amount, but they can definitely find me on those. All right, for sure. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming through. You did your thing. Uh, it was definitely blessed to have you on here. Yeah, bro. Appreciate and, uh, it. This has been another episode of Overlook Heroes. You have a blessed day. Yeah, you too. All right.